Imagine, there are 30 kids in your class. As many as 12 of them are currently experiencing poor mental health. But what is being done to help save these innocent lives? Mental health is a huge issue that is continuing to grow because we don't know how to approach it. While we wait for society to stand up and do something, one in five students are considering suicide. 10% of them have attempted suicide. Dr. Harrison Bailey III at Liberty High School has taken on the initiative to create change in the hurricane we call mental health. The Wellness Center is an institution that has begun to turn the tables for mental health within Liberty High School and hopefully other communities for the foreseeable future. My name is Dr. Harrison Bailey III. I'm the principal here at Liberty High School. Hi, my name is Robin Sorensen. I'm the clinical supervisor here in the Liberty Wellness Center. Mental health is uh, an important topic for me. One, uh, simply because uh, when you're the principal of a large place like Liberty High School, uh, there are a lot of lives that you interact with and that you depend on and that you support. Uh, but on a more personal level, um, mental health concerns have impacted me um, in numerous ways. Um, most specifically, uh, my best friend from college, um, in 2008 uh, committed suicide and so uh, mental health is is just uh, that much more important uh, to me and, and making sure that uh, people feel good um, about who they are and what they're doing and what they can become. The things we experience in life have a direct impact on who we are, how we act, how we interact uh, and ultimately um, they it can impact who we become. The establishment of our wellness center, um, which is a, a place and space for students to get uh, mental health services, which can look a lot of different ways, everything from ongoing therapy to uh, occupational uh, therapy to uh, mindfulness uh, and, and a host of other uh, specific trainings and experiences. We have clinicians who come and help students with uh, mental health needs. There's also mentors that are here, and um, we have group activities, just all, all kinds of things to help with students' mental health. I feel that mental health is a very important topic right now because we all went through a huge situation together, which obviously was COVID. And it's nothing anyone could have predicted. Um, the scale that we were left um, at home, wiping off groceries and wearing gloves and masks and everything else, um, no one could have prepared us for that. So I think that really put mental health into the forefront of if we're not taking care of ourselves mentally, we're not going to do well physically. The concerns that we see around mental health existed far before um, uh, COVID-19, but I, I broach it as um, COVID-19 poured gasoline on an already burning fire. Prior to the pandemic, we had students and families being told that although their child needed psychiatric services, needed mental health services to deal with an immediate problem, um, it could be a six to nine month wait before they would get those services. Um, so if you're a parent and your child is in significant need and you're told that it's a six month wait, uh, that's a terrifying position to be in. And, and so uh, as a school and as a school district, we decided we had to do something. Um, we could no longer sit by and just allow that to be the case. The Wellness Center was always, always something that we created as a pilot. Uh, and what I mean by that is as an example for the entire Commonwealth, uh, eventually the entire country, to um, install into their schools and fortunately that has gained traction uh, we've been able to present uh, to MSNBC to uh, the New York Times uh, we um, are now getting more congressional um, help and interest I think there's always been kind of a mystery to mental health. It's not like a broken arm or a broken leg where you go to the hospital and you get a cast on. It's something you're dealing with in your head and your body. And to get someone to understand that, um, you know, that 
to address that is very important. Um, I often use the analogy with students. You know, if you, if you had the flu, would you not seek help? If you had strep throat, would you not seek help? And it kind of, it should be looked in the exact same way. But mental health for a very long time had a significant stigma to it. And I think now, fortunately, um, that stigma is much less. I think people are more willing to, um, to say that they are, they're dealing with something and to pursue the support that they need. Mental health care is gradually losing its stigma in this country. Programs like Liberty's Peace Room help students in need while shining a light on the process for the community. We must treat mental health issues like any other medical issue and understand that without a healthy interior mindset, we can't hope to have students prosper in the classroom. Our wellness center is a huge step in the right direction, enabling students to begin healing and learn and reach their full potential. There is still much more that needs to be done and we need to continue to raise awareness for more changes like this to happen in more institutions. In the words of Lao Tzu, the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. People with mental health challenges or illnesses can still thrive and live a fulfilling life, but we need to work together as a community to make sure they have access to the right resources. If you or someone you know is currently experiencing a mental health crisis, the Suicide Prevention Hotline is always available just dial 988. If you are a woman who doesn't feel safe, the Women in Distress 24-Hour Crisis Hotline is also available for you at 964-761-1133. The Safe to Say website is also always active day-to-day -day throughout the district. You can also reach out to your guidance counselor or a trusted adult. If you are experiencing mental health issues in any form, please get help.